Hi, welcome to Yoga with Synaptic Sylvie. My name's Sylvie, and this is your Detox Express Flow. So what we're gonna do today is use breath and certain poses to create a lot of heat and then have a nice juicy release at the end. So this is a great practice if you're looking to get rid of some nervous energy, any sort of jitteriness, um, or it's just a great practice if you're trying to fit in something quick throughout your day. So find yourself in a comfortable seated position, taking a few rounds of breath to land in your space, keeping your facial features soft, get heavy in your hips. To start this practice, we are going to do breath of fire. Um, if for any reason, if but if you're pregnant or if you've just had a lot to eat, I would recommend not doing this and instead uh, shortening your exhales a bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to inhale passively and exhale, bring our belly button to our navel to create kind of a forceful exhale. We allow the inhale to flow in easy breezy and exhale forcefully out. So we're going to do this for 10 cycles. You're welcome to join me for all of them or part of them. So we're going to do a full round of normal breath. And then next exhale forceful. For another 20 seconds or so. Creating the heat, keeping the facial features soft. And back to normal breath. Feeling the residual humming and buzzing in your body. And getting started right away. Exhale, we're going to roll our right ear to our right shoulder. Inhale, bringing the chin back to center, tuck slightly, and exhale over to the left. Bringing some gentle movement to our neck. And do one more, evening it out. And inhale back up to center. Exhale, we're going to bring our arms up and inhale, hand, right hand over to the right side and sweep the left arm over. On our inhales, we're gonna bring both arms up back to center and exhale, same thing, but over to the left. So option to keep going at this pace or to invite a forceful exhale as you do a side bend. We're gonna do two more just like that, inviting some heat. And inhale back to center. Dropping into the body. And on your next inhale, we're gonna make our way over to table. So knees, under hips, hands under shoulders, doing a few circles around the joints. Feel free to linger in any sticky spots. And on our next inhale, find some stillness. Exhale, extend the right foot long, big toe meets the mat, rock front to back. Exhale to pause, inhale, lift the right foot up, and exhale, knee to nose, rock through your hands. Opening up the chest. Exhale, we're gonna apply more weight onto our right hand and lift up the left. A 
option to stay here. On the inhale, we're gonna keep our chest twisted, lifting our right hand up. One more round of breath. And exhale, bring your left hand over to the back of your thigh and inhale, sweep the right arm up. Keeping yourself nice and grounded in that right foot. Gazing up or maybe gazing down. Two more. Exhale, windmill your hands to the front of your space, stepping your left foot back. Meeting in table. Exhale, extend your right foot out, begin to rock front to back. Exhale to pause, inhale, lift the left foot up, bringing the knee to your nose, rock through your hands. Broaden your chest. And exhale, plant your left hand down, lifting up your right. Wringing yourself out like a sponge. Option to stay here or keeping your chest twisted. Lift up, grounding in that front foot. And on your next exhale, allow your right hand to rest on the back of your thigh and inhale, sweep the left arm up and over. Keeping grounded in your base, softening your chest, relaxing your face, and then windmill yourself back down, bringing that right foot back. Inhale, bring the hands just above your shoulders, fingertips towards the outer edges of your mat. Tuck your toes under, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Any movements you need to do here, feel free and then pause for stillness. We're gonna go through a, one of my favorite detoxing flows. So on the inhale, what we're going to do is we're going to twist our chest over to the left. So this is a great place to stay, or we're gonna slowly bring our hand over to the left side and maybe grabbing anywhere on the left leg. Once we're here, we're going to inhale, bring our left hand back, rocking our hip forward to a high plank. Exhale, back to down dog, switching the twist. Inhale forward, always an option to drop on your knees here. And exhale, down dog, switching the twist. So we're gonna do that for five rounds, any variation you like, moving the energy. Exhale to twist, inhale forward. Moving the blood, moving the body. Staying heavy in those heels. Nice and spacious in the shoulder blades as you rock forward to plank. One more, evening yourself out. And exhale, we're gonna meet with our left hand towards, I'm sorry guys, your right hand towards the left side of your space. Keeping your left hand to the right, we're going to lower our knees. We're going to crawl our left hand forward slightly, see if we can drop our right shoulder down, knees above hips. Taking a few rounds of breath here and thread the needle. Releasing what we just worked. Option to stay here, or you can continue to roll onto your belly. So you may need to lift yourself up here, 
finding your hips down on the mat, belly down, keeping your right hand to the left. So this is quite an opener for the shoulders, quite a big stretch here. And we're going to stay here wherever you are for three rounds of breath. And on our next inhale, we're going to meet back to center. We're all on our bellies, hands underneath our shoulders. We're going to inhale, lift our chest up, maybe lift our hips up for up dog. And exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. We're here for three rounds of breath. Now we're gonna do the same flow as before. So on our exhale, starting on our right side this time, we're gonna take our left hand, we're gonna twist open to the right, moving our chest, and maybe moving our hand, maybe grabbing onto our leg. Inhale, we're gonna rock forward to our variation of plank, and exhale, twisting over to the other side. Inhale, rock forward, breathing. Exhale, letting go. We can do this for five rounds. Getting heavy in the heels on the exhale. Inhale, getting nice and grippy with the hands. Moving the energy front to back. going to finish off our side wherever we are, meeting with our left side twisting over to the right. I'm going to linger here. And on our next exhale, we're going to take our left hand, bring it to the right, and dropping our knees down. Crawling our right hand forward, finding a position for our left shoulder to drop. Knees stacked with the hips. Be here for three rounds of breath. And then option to stay here, or you may need to lift yourself a little bit, crawl yourself forward, belly on the mat, left hand extended to the right, stretching out that shoulder. Releasing what you just worked. And wherever you are on your next inhale, finding your way to your belly, hands under your shoulders. And inhale, we're going to press ourselves up, opening up our chest. Exhale, we're going to bend the knees, hips back, hovering child's pose. And exhale, drop the knees, uncurl the toes, hips back, child's pose. Settling into the shape. We are going to do an opposite breath. So creating, if you like, a circle with your mouth or maybe even rolling your tongue behind your teeth. You're going to inhale through your mouth, then exhale passively out your nose. So we're gonna do a full round of breath, normal breath together. 
And then we're gonna inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. So finding your own rhythm here. Allowing your body to cool off and wash away everything you just worked. Seeing if there's any particular areas in your body or your mind you feel ready to wash away. We're going to hang out here for four more rounds of breath. feeling great and you have the time and space please stay for as long as you like thank you for picking this video today and taking this time for yourself to create a bit of heat and to cool yourself off i hope you have a wonderful day and we can practice again real soon thank you